Welcome back to the UCA basketball report. The Bears got to play in a bracket buster game. You got to go back to Ruston, Louisiana. Did you ever visit Ruston when you were in um, college with Scotty Thurman? Oh yeah, yeah. We spent quite a few time, uh, quite a bit of time down there in Ruston. Uh, you know, Scotty, his family's down there. Uh, some of them came to watch the game. His, his sister and his brother and brother-in-law and nephew. So uh, it was nice to get back to Ruston again. Take on Louisiana Tech, and I guess the inside story you have, you know, it's you have a Conway kid. Uh, Garner, they have a Conway kid, McNeil, and you have a Jacksonville kid, Miles, and they have a Jacksonville kid, Appleby. So that made the interplay pretty good in this game. Oh yes, it was. You know, it was it was interesting. I knew it was going to be that underlying uh, storyline there between those uh, four gentlemen, but uh, it, it was a good game for them as far as how they competed against one another. Unfortunately, they kind of jumped out on us early in the game and, and weren't able to to come back from that. But uh, I think those guys really enjoyed having the opportunity to play against one another and look forward to doing it again. Very early, get off to a good start. Yes, yes. I mean, from the from the beginning of the game, I mean, you know. A couple we, of layups. We jumped out there and got a five-point lead. They call a timeout, and we were feeling all right about how we were playing. And, and then all of a sudden, they just came out and just got on fire and took the game over. You mentioned you might, they might have felt too good when they got that 5 nothing lead. Yes, yeah, I think we relaxed a little bit defensively. We missed some assignments uh, and what we were trying to accomplish, and it gave them an opportunity to get open. You know, we, we talked about their ability to create off the dribble. Uh, Appleby uh, kind of went off on us there for a while, and once he got going, uh, it opened up the three-point shot. And you talk about uh, Appleby, the the talent in Central Arkansas. We just talked about those four players and the way they're achieving on the college level. There's some uh, real good talent in the Central Arkansas area. Yes, there's some good talent here in the Central Arkansas area. I mean, uh, you know, McNeil knocked some three-point shots down. I think he hit three threes against us. Uh, you know, Appleby with his mid-range game and the ability to attack the basket. You know, it, it's uh, it just shows that you know some good basketball players coming out of the state and. And you, you continue to see the talent get better and better year year in year out. It would have to be an example of a guy who takes good shots, eight of ten from the floor, uh, and really had a nice game. And he's had a, a really good freshman season for, for Louisiana Tech. Yes, he has. You know, uh, when you look at Appleby, he plays within the offense. He plays within himself. He doesn't do anything that's uh, outside of his game. He, he's going to stick to what he what his strengths are, and that's why he's so successful in, in what he's doing down there at Louisiana Tech. Uh, Jordan Harks, 12 field goal attempts, uh, ended up with 13 points, seven rebounds. Uh, really had a nice overall game. Yes, he did. You know, uh, Jordan crashed the boards for us, uh, especially offensively. I think he ended up with five offensive rebounds. Um, you know, he played with that energy that we needed. Uh, gave us an opportunity to be competitive a little bit there in the second half. We tried to make a run and uh, just couldn't quite, quite get back into it and, and pull it off a win, but. You know, uh, with with his effort, with his play and relentlessness on the boards, as you see right there, you know, it's just, he's just continuing to get better, and, and it's going to help us all in the long run. Now, your greatest needs, as far as you look at what you have with this basketball team and where you want to get when you're out there recruiting, obviously you want to get the best athletes available. But what areas do you think are must to fill? I think we're we're in definite need of a of a strong, strong point guard, uh, one that's very vocal. Um, that's a coach on the floor and nothing against the guys we have now, just the personalities aren't, uh, aren't that boisterous or, or don't have those leadership type voices. And uh, we, we need that on the court right now. We need that bad. We need a couple guys uh, that can create, create off the dribble. You know, Miles does a good job, but we need a few more where when the shot clock breaks down or we're having trouble scoring, then we can set up a play where we got guys attacking, which will draw the defense and create more opportunities for other people to score the ball. And one thing about a point guard, you can find a guy that's maybe 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, it's not, you know, you don't need to be looking for the 6'8 guy. This, this guy's out there. Look at Derek Fisher, a great example of an undersized guy who was undervalued coming out of high school and ended up being, a, you know, just a terrific point guard. You know, Derek really worked hard to get to where he is today. Uh, I played with him. I always knew he had it in him to be a great point guard. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what every team needs. You, you have to have that, that head in, in for the body to, uh, to be able to function. And uh, it doesn't matter your size, you know, whether you're 5'5 you're five, five or, or you're 6'5 six, six, at a point guard. If you have that mentality, if you have the heart, 
and the leadership qualities, you can lead the team. Now, Jason Harrison, another guy at Parkview, I think he was 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, ended up having a pretty good college career. <laughs> yes, he did. He had a great college career. I, I, if, if Jason had a few more years, I'd love <laughs> to have him here. <laughs> All right, we'll be back to wrap up the UCA basketball report. Real Yellow Pages, yp.com and yp.com on your mobile. More ways to search, more ways to find. Only from AT&T. At Zaxby's, all of our salads are made fresh to satisfy any craving. Like the blue, with a bold taste of real blue cheese and buffaloed or blackened chicken. The house, or the Caesar. With so many flavor-packed choices, you'll be seeing salad in a whole new way. Guess someone forgot to tell us that salads are supposed to be boring. Zaxby's. Indescribably good. Welcome back to the UCA Basketball Report. The Bears on the road Wednesday, Thibodeau, Louisiana. Yes, yes, we go down to uh, Thibodeau to play Nickel State. Uh, it's going to be a very, very tough game to win. You know, they play well at home. They really get after you defensively, so... Uh, we'll see if we can go down there and, and, and create the, uh, the tempo that we want. We did a good job of beating them here at home, but they had a couple players who were injured and they'll be back. So it's going to be a tough one. I know you're taking them one at a time, but you know, with his life, there's hope and you're still alive as far as the post-conference tournament is concerned. Yes, you know, we're still alive, as they say, mathematically. Uh, yeah. We're, we're yeah, still in it. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but you know, we're still trying to focus in on getting that one win. Uh, that's the only way we're going to be able to, to make it if we get this one win. So we, we really have to have our guys focused to try to try to get a victory on, on Wednesday night. Especially on the road, are you going to break it down to segments, just hoping you can get you know maybe to the final four minutes with a chance to win that game? Just exactly. winning four or five minute segments? Right, right. When you're on the road, you have to break the game down. You can't really look at it as you know one just one big whole picture because there's always going to be a uh, a segment there where you're not going to play well. Basketball is a game of runs. You know, you got three, sometimes five runs in a game, and, and you want to have the majority of them on your side. So if we can break those segments down where we're playing well and, and, and create uh, tempo for us, then we'll have an opportunity to be there in the, in the waning moments of the game. All right. If you had to pick a play of the week, what would it be? Uh, it would be the play down at uh, Louisiana Tech with Jordan Harks. He goes up strong, uh, gets a shot blocked, but he stayed with the play. And uh, that's, uh, that, that's typical of Jordan. I mean, he's going to continue to fight. And I thought that was a, a good play for us because it shows his relentlessness and how we want to be as a team. Uh, player of the week? Player of the week, I want to go with Linnell Brown. You know, it's a young man who's a walk-on. Uh, he doesn't play a lot of minutes, but he brings energy every night he's on the court. And for, those, in the, for the past two games, when we brought Linnell into the game, our tempo has changed, the momentum of the game has changed. And uh, I'm very appreciative of his effort. A log cap and stat of the week. Stat of the week, I would say it, it'd be us going to the free throw line. I think we shot 70% uh, against Louisiana Tech. We were 12 or 17, which is a big improvement for us uh, to shoot that well. So uh, hopefully we can continue to, uh, to improve and get better and shoot that percentage from here on out. Now I want to remind folks they can follow you on Twitter, probably the most interesting tweets. I'm looking for a tweet after a win, but uh, <laughs> you have a lot of fun. Yes, yes, I, I do. You know, uh, I, I don't want to just, you know, uh, just tweet things to, uh, to uh, just be a coach or whatever. I tweet what's on my mind and how I Yeah, tweet. you do. You, you see your true feelings, <laughs> especially when you tweet immediately after a game. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you have an opportunity, you know, you're out there at UCA Coach Corliss. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. And, you know, I say some funny things at time. time. You're still smiling right now. This is a tough time for UCA, and obviously it's tough for you personally. It is tough. You know, uh, I'm used to winning, used to being in winning programs, but I also understand that you have to start uh, somewhere to build that type of uh, attitude and that type of uh, tradition. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to the future, and we're continuing to build and see where we can get our program by the end of this season. I know you can't see it just purely on wins, but you feel like you're headed in the right direction? We do. I definitely feel that, that we are headed in the right direction. You know, when we're looking at practice, our approach to practice, how it's improved, our guys are understanding what we're trying to accomplish, their attitude towards 
uh, Central Arkansas basketball, the fan support, everything is coming around. It, it's, it's on its way. We feel it's around the corner, and we just have to stick to the task. And you see some players like Miles really step up this year at times and really take his game to a new level. And that can happen, I guess, to you know, a lot of different players can really take their game. In one year, you can make a, a huge jump. Yes, you can. You know, in one year, you can really make some improvements. You know, you have an opportunity to see where you are as far as competing in your conference. Now, I think Miles has a better understanding. He knows what he needs to work on in the offseason. I look forward to him coming back, having a stronger season next year, along with some other guys. Uh, as far as Saturday, you're back here. Saturday, we're back at home. You know, we have an opportunity to play Southeast Louisiana. Uh, I really want to get this game. I think that, that that was a turning point in our season when we went to their place and lost in overtime. We really haven't played uh, up to our potential since then, and uh, it would be a great opportunity to, to re really beat them and here at our place and, and get that win back that we desperately need. Looking back at the games from last week, uh, the areas you'll be concentrating on most early in this game coming up on Wednesday. Uh, early in this game, we definitely want to take them out of their offense, uh, and not only just against Nichols, but also against Southeastern. You don't want them to get a rhythm offensively, and that's something that we didn't do a good job of in the past few games of, as far as taking guys out of their comfort zone. So uh, that's the one thing we want to concentrate on as well as shot, shot selection and, and making sure we can make layups. Your thoughts overall about that bracket buster experience? Comes to right in the you know, the heart of the conference season, but it gives you exposure that you normally wouldn't get. It does give you exposure, and that's what we want for our program. We want to get our program out there where people are, are uh, understanding or are interested in what's going on in Central Arkansas. And uh, unfortunately for us, it came at a time where we we're not playing well. Uh, we would like to have a break in the season somewhere later on uh, where we can get some rest. But um, I was very excited about the opportunity to play against Louisiana Tech and look forward to next year's Bracket Busters. You get the reception you want when you visit high schools and visit homes of recruits? We are. We are. You know, uh, they're very interested in what's going on here. A lot of them, uh, their parents have seen the you senior play. play. That's the <laughs> you know, the kids really haven't. But uh, I think one of the things that's going to be interesting now, since the uh, 40 Minutes of Hell documentary came out, now kids have a better understanding of, of where I've come from as a coach and, and where, what I'm trying to get this program to be. Uh, what, have you got a lot of reaction from that video, just you know, walking around town and, and even visiting with people out of state? Oh, yes. A lot of people have seen the video, and they really enjoyed it. You know, uh, I even had a call from an AD from a, one of our um, uh, opposing schools who saw the documentary and was just commenting on, on the video as well as what we're trying to do here in Central Arkansas. So people have taken notice of that video, and I, I just thought ESPN, they did a great job with it. Uh, you do plan, if you can get a copy of that tape, show it to the players. Yes, that's my plan. You know, I wish I could have got a copy a week ago yeah. to kind of spark our guys and get them going, but we're definitely going to watch it as a team. Uh, I think our guys really need to see that so they can have uh, some clarity as far as what we're trying to accomplish. Are the guys now, their overall attitude, they still hurting when they lose games? Uh... They are. You know, they're, they're still hurting. You know, uh, they, they still care about uh, how we're finishing the season. You know, you have seniors who this is going to be their last their last run at basketball here at Central Arkansas. They want to end on a good note. And also the guys who are coming back want to have something to build on for next year. So uh, they're, they're continuing to stay focused. Uh, they're continuing to care about how we perform. It's just a matter of us getting that win so we can really uh, push forward and finish the season out well. Well, it's easy for frustration to set in too, especially for if you're on the back end of a career and just a few games to go. It is. It's very easy for frustration, but the good thing about it is our seniors, they've really stayed focused. You know, they understand that they're going to be a part of, a, of the building process of this program, and they don't want to look back and have any regrets on how they finish the season out or how they finish their career. So they're definitely, uh, you know, they're, they're bought in, they're all in until the uh, last game is played and they're going to do their best to help this, career, uh, this program get better. All right, let's think big. Let's get two wins this week. All right, appreciate it. All right, thanks for tuning in to the UCA Basketball Report. The Corliss Williamson Call-In Show is on the buzz 103.7 at 8 p.m. on Mondays at JJ's Grill in Conway. Come out to watch the show live, meet Big Nasty, and enjoy the weekly specials.